Hello people the interwebs, Ali here and welcome to my channel. So I was gonna make a video but it um something else but it took too long. Like it was almost sixteen minutes, twenty minutes. So I cut it off and I decided to do it this way. So I have a list of twelve movies and over I don't know how long I'm gonna do this for, but I'm gonna be talking about this twelve movies and probably possibly more because I couldn't figure out anything else to do for this video. So, the first movie I'm going to be talking about is, wait, I had it and I don't remember it now. Um, I'm going to t be talking about The Perks of Being a Wallflower. Because that's just number one on my list and I couldn't, I don't want to do the last one right now. So, my obsession with Perks of Being a Wallflower first began... Oh, a couple years ago? No, it started, I think, last year or my freshman year of high school where I was on Tumblr one day and I saw this GIF, I think, or or, uh, or a picture set. I don't even remember what it was, but I saw something about Perks being a wallflower. And then I was like, well, I kept hearing about it and I just got curious and someone put the link to the movie on Tumblr so I watched it curiously and that was like the best mistake I've ever made in my entire life let me tell you I relate to that movie so much and to the characters that since I got that since I saw that movie I literally would watch it every day and while I'm doing homework I'll be sitting there on my computer like I'll have like my computer here or my computer on some platform and do my homework and just cry every time and I found out there was a book about it, and then, oh my god, I bought that book, and I've been, okay, I bought the, yeah, everything started freshman year, I bought the book, and I put it off to read because I kept getting school assignments to read, and then summer of my, so going into sophomore year, I believe, or, yeah, it was, I think the summer going into my sophomore year, I sat myself down, I locked myself in my room, I was like, you know what? You've had this book for a year, so you're going to sit down in that corner, and you're going to read that book until you finish that book. And I did. I cried. I'm pretty, the, page, the pages are all crinkled, and I hate when my books set like that. It's just all a mess, and I loved it so much that I binged watch that movie again for the rest of summer with other movies. And I shared books with my friend, and I gave it to her. She loved it, so now I'm going to have to pass her on the movie. Or I might as well just wait for her to come over and watch the movie. I don't know yet. But, okay. So, I could give you the synopsis. And I might as well while I'm talking about it. But, here we go. So, okay. I haven't seen it in a couple weeks. And I should know it by heart. But my brain is so full of anatomy stuff right now. That I don't even know my own name. Just kidding. It's Allie. I know my name. <laughs> but, so basically, there's this character. His name is Charlie. I'm going to put C right here. You can't see. But there's Charlie. He has an older sister, an older brother, a mom, and a dad. And his aunt, something, I can't remember her name. I think it's just J. His aunt is dead. His birthday is on Christmas, and he's a year behind. He should be a sophomore in high school. But he's not. He's a freshman. And his older, his brother's in college. His sister's a senior. And he doesn't have any friends. He had one friend. His name was Michael. And Michael shot himself the year before. So Charlie was all on his own. And he was sexually abused by his aunt as a child. That's why he's very, very, very socially awkward. And, um, yeah. So, um, as the story begins, he doesn't have friends. His older sister, like, you know how older siblings are, like, if they go to school with you, they pretend, like, you don't know me, I don't know you, don't say my name, don't call it, whatever. So, the first day of school, he has nowhere to sit, so he s sat by himself, I think. He was one girl he knew from middle school, she wouldn't let him sit with him. But, um, fast forward, he meets this guy who's a senior who's in his freshman shop class. His name is Patrick, but people call him nothing. And, um... I don't want to tell you why because that's the best thing you want to experience yourself. So I'm not going to spoil that part for you. But fast forward to the first football game of school year. Charlie knows a little bit about football because his brother's in it. 
was playing football and he's playing for it at Penn State, I believe. And then, um, he meets nothing there with his stepsister, and I can't remember her name, it's bugging me. But, it's, but she's played by Emma Watson, so another reason why I like it. Um, and basically, nothing, i.e., Patrick, is gay. He has a boyfriend, whatever, who's on the football team, who's like clo- very, very, very closeted. And the only way that they could be together is that if he was high or drunk or something. And it just wasn't a healthy relationship. Um, Charlie's older sister was in a healthy relationship. Her boyfriend was just like, he was, his name was Ponytail Derek, or that's what they called him, but I didn't like him. He hit her once and Charlie witnessed it, but he didn't know what to do. Um, and one day he's hanging out, oh no, the first time he hung out with Patrick and his sister, he got to a party, and his first experience with drugs is he, he eats a weed brownie without really knowing what it is. And over time, he becomes friends with everyone, but while he's doing that, he's... They're an older crowd, so bad influence, so they start taking drugs. And, i.e., he takes drugs, and he goes on these trips, but he was mentally okay for a few years, but the effects of taking the drugs and being in a whole new social situation just, like, threw him over the edge. And he started getting bad again. Um, he had a teacher, and his English teacher was kind to him, always gave him a book to read and all that. Because Charlie wasn't very smart, he just didn't want to say anything in class because he didn't want to get picked on. Um, so, fast forward to the end of the movie because I don't want to get on the other stuff because that's a whole other situation. But at, by the end of the movie, he has a mental breakdown so big because his sister's going away to college, all his friends were seniors, they're going to college, and that summer, everyone else is going to be somewhere else, and he loses it, his sister's at a graduation party, his parents are out of town, his best friends are gone, and he starts thinking, and he blames himself for his aunt's death. I'm not going to tell you why completely, but he blames himself for his aunt's death. And, um, I don't know exactly what he did. All I know is that he called his sister, he was at the party, like, he called the house into the, of the girl's house and asked for his sister. And she got freaked out and she was like, oh, call, or she was like, call 911. And it just cuts away to the hospital. But, it's, if you... It seems like one of those like normal teenage coming of age movies, but it's like so much more, and you have to be able to understand it on a deeper level than just oh, it's a bunch of teenagers doing what teenagers do. But it's not. It's more or less more teenagers now will understand it than adults will. But there's always gonna be someone that relates to it, like um. I relate to Charlie because of his social awkwardness and the fact that I was a freshman in high school when I watched it. But yeah, um, that's all I can say without spoiling it way too much, in, but I've said too much. Um, yeah, so that's it for this week's video. If you like this video and want to give me an, or if you want me to make another video like it, give me a big old thumbs up. If you have a movie that you like that people will understand unless they get on a deeper situation, comment it in the down bar below. If you want to see me more of me and my face, I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and every Friday whenever I feel like it. Then subscribe to my channel. The link, the button will be somewhere down there. Or, the yeah, down there. <laughs> um... If you want to keep up with me on my social media, I have a Twitter, a Tumblr, an Instagram, a Vine, and a Wattpad. All five links will be in the down bar below. And yeah, so that's it. I will see you guys all on Wednesday with an alley rant. But until then, bye!